Hi and welcome back to my channel. So my name is Lena. If you're new here, I talk about fashion and self-care content for moms. Um, and if you're wondering, this bodysuit is from Skims. <laughs> Let's just knock that out the way. Today's video is going to be all about how you can develop a self-care routine as a mom. So stay tuned. I want to give you your love and some champagne chows. All the shrimp and lobster pies. It's me that gets Come on. Ooh, when you do, what you do, I'm in power. First of all, I just want to say real quick, my last videos were really like almost cringy because I was not being myself. They were actually pretty boring as I was editing them, but I still just put them up just to be consistent. So these next couple of videos, I'm really going to try to put my personality into the videos because I feel like I was sort of just like almost reading from a teleprompter or something. I don't know. But anyway, let's just get into the routines, girl, because you ain't here to hear about my problems. Tip one is, make, is going to be make sure you get enough rest. As moms, whether you're single, you're married, you have help, whatever the case is, we are always never sleeping enough. We go to bed late or sometimes we go to bed super early, but we also wake up super early. So my tip to you would be create a routine where at night you can really just wind down, put yourself first when it comes to getting rest. So whether that means shutting your household down earlier than what they're used to, or maybe even if you go to sleep later, wake up later if you don't have to you know rush to an office or rush to get kids ready in the morning on that specific day find a way to carve out time for you and to really get a lot of rest for yourself okay tip two is set aside some me time even if it's just for a few minutes a day it's really important to set out me time i started out setting out me time for 10 minutes in the morning and 10 minutes in the evening and now i'm really like and now I really have a half a day or so a week where I can just focus on me and that's outside of like nails, hair, etc. That's more so like just meditating, thinking about what I want to do for like <laughs> my life. Just focusing on me. I don't think about kids, I don't think about spouse, I don't think about outside world, I don't think about work. I think about what does Lena want and what do I want to achieve, how I'm going to get there and just things for myself. I try not to put nothing in thought about anybody else. I, it's like a almost selfish time. So that's what you can call it too, selfish time. Tip three is going to be eat healthy. We are constantly on the go. So whether that means packing a healthier snack alternative like a, a bar a fiber one bar or a granola bar or something like that just eat healthier a piece of fruit we stopping at mcdonald's chick-fil-a all of that is good it's cheap yes you know but at the end of the day we really have to take care of ourselves because you only have one body so i want you to start by incorporating maybe one or two leafy greens a day into <laughs> your diet just to really to really energize your body in a way where you will feel better throughout the day and also leafy greens is great for bloating and uh, slimming down your waistline so if you're really trying to like you know go ahead and put some leafy greens into your diet or is to develop an exercise routine and I know that you already have you don't have no time for no self-care so you're thinking like how am I going to develop an exercise routine well, when you're taking time out for yourself in the earlier tip, exercising can be one of those things that you do to take care of yourself. So what you can do is maybe take 20 to 30 minutes out every day in the morning or evening and just take a walk. You can either go to the gym, walk around your neighborhood, walk in the street, like it doesn't matter, but move your body at least three times a week for 30 minutes. I would start out with that. Um, my routine right now, I go to the gym five times a week. I try to stay between 45 minutes to an hour and 15 minutes, and that's just what works for me. Um, that's outside of my self-care time. I actually recently noticed that going to the gym during the day, number one, is less crowded. And then I get to spend more time with the kids at the end of the day so I don't feel guilty. So I would suggest that you find a way in between while the kids are maybe at school or during a nap time if you do feel guilty about taking care of yourself. So that's just like a bonus tip. Tip five is to get organized. You are feeling anxious. You are running all over the place. You don't know what's going on, who has what today. I would suggest either getting a planner or maybe even using your i your iphone calendar or your android calendar if y'all got those <laughs> and go ahead and really just plan out your day plan out your week your month 
your meal like your meal plan ideas just less thinking when you're planning you take out the guesswork of what's next what needs to be done you can sit down maybe 10 15 minutes every week and list out everything that needs to be done and just schedule it in that way when you wake up you already know what you have to do today like monday okay i gotta do laundry tuesday this person has that practice i can squeeze in my self-care time around like two or three o'clock like you can really um organize your life if you organize your week get what i'm saying i hope so comment down below if you get what i'm saying <laughs> if you like if you're picking up what i'm putting down go ahead and follow me on all socials instagram and tiktok i am on both at the lavishly lena and let's get into the next tip tip really six yes sorry i'm losing track the sixth tip would be to connect with other like-minded individuals so i know that well, growing up I was the only friend with kids because I had my children so young so it was hard for me to identify with my friends who didn't have children what I would say to do is to find like-minded moms now don't go befriending everybody but just maybe one or two people who have kids around the same um, age as yours and maybe start to do little play dates and then once the kids get familiar and you and the mom get familiar you guys can also get together outside of the kids and just have fun and just talk to one another. Finding moms to provide you with support will make your life so much easier. I, you know, you don't want to complain to the kids' grandparents or godparents, aunts and uncles all the time about the, the little babies that don't do anything wrong. <laughs> but if you would have like a friend outside of that who you can express your frustrations to, you may be surprised that, that they may also be going through the same thing. So one of the things that have helped me with my self-care routine was going out to brunch with a friend who also has children and we'll sit we'll spend like a good 10-15 minutes just expressing our frustrations as mom we'll pack that up put that to the side and then we'll focus on ourselves as individual women versus spending the whole brunch talking about children because we're not about to do that <laughs> and the last tip tip seven is to give yourself credit every single day being a mom is very 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 hard it's the most difficult job in the world and we do not get paid for it at all <laughs> so we get paid in love but at the end of the day you have to give yourself grace and give yourself credit when credit is due which is every single day you did great by keeping those kids alive today so give yourself a give yourself credit every day when deserving don't talk negative about yourself like i wasn't a good mom today every day isn't perfect and every day will not be perfect all right that's all the tips i have for you in this video go ahead and like comment and subscribe and watch this next video i think you might like it okay bye